Mobile Home Diva and in today's video we're going to be talking a little bit about the process of looking for your dream home. Now if you're new to this channel, this channel is about mobile home living, mobile home purchasing, living in a mobile home, cleaning a mobile home, remodeling a mobile home, everything mobile home. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Now let's get into the video. If I had known the things that I'm going to talk about today before or even during the process of looking for a home, I feel like I would have had a more enjoyable experience. So I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. Looking for your dream home can be very stressful. And a lot of times, if you're anything like me, you can read into stuff or over imagine stuff or make things a much bigger deal than what they really are. So I just wanted to give you a little, a few tips on how to make the experience fun. I was very stressed out. Okay. I was, I was really wanting this thing to happen. I wasn't interested in purchasing a stick built home because at the time I lived in Marietta, Georgia and a three bedroom, two bath was upwards of two, three hundred thousand dollars. And I knew because I had lived in a mobile home before. In, in fact, I've had two owned two mobile homes in the past. I knew that I could get a nice home, well put together, brand new that I would be super happy with. So I set out to convince my husband that this was something that we should do. And he wasn't all in. You guys know the story. He wasn't all in from the beginning, right? So I had to do a lot of the work myself so that I could show him that this was a good idea. I was so stressed out. I was combing through uh, mobile home pictures, tours, looking at in all kinds of um, on at all kinds of websites, all kinds of homes. I was picking the homes apart. I was, it was just a big mess. It was a big mess. And I had a lot of questions and I didn't know anybody that could answer them. So that made it even more stressful. Your time choosing your home doesn't have to be stressful. The first time we went to a Clayton Homes, we had a bad experience. Not only because of the salespeople there, but and my husband may not think it was a bad experience. I feel like it was a bad experience because I was so stressed out that I couldn't even enjoy the homes that I was looking in. I was picking them apart, right? And as I look back on that, I realized that we don't have to do that. The home that we purchased was not the home that, that we had went online and chose. And I say we because once we went to that first Clayton Homes and we applied and we got approved, my husband was like, okay, let's see what kind of house you, you're looking at. What do you want to get? And we started looking online at Clayton Homes, uh, the different models that they had uh, online. And we both agreed that we wanted a three-bedroom, two-bath. Uh, we both agreed that we wanted two sinks in the bathroom and an island in the kitchen. And we wanted open space. So we started going through homes and my husband's, my idea of the dream home was not my husband. He's a simple, simple guy. It doesn't take a lot to please him. He doesn't need all the bells and whistles. He doesn't need all the fancy stuff. And in some ways I'm like that too, right? I don't have, I didn't have to have the biggest and the baddest and the most expensive, but I did want a nice home. So that made it stressful. I wanted one thing, he wanted another. Very stressful time. If I had known that it, that experience didn't have to be like that, I would have just had fun from the beginning. This is going to be one of the biggest decisions you've ever made. Have fun with it. Don't look back on your memories of purchasing the home that you're living in. And the first thing you think about is all the stress that it went into 
figuring out the home. Have fun with it, okay? It has got to be more enjoyable if you allow it to be than if you, case in point, I could have went in there and at one point I did with a tablet full of must-haves, okay? Picking apart everything the salesperson said, not believing everything the salesperson said, I could have made it a bad experience. The salespeople, they do this for a living. This is what they do. So they are going to be very knowledgeable and very helpful in helping you to make a good decision. All right. So if they make a suggestion, don't get offended because they make a suggestion they make a suggestion is because they know what they're talking about. Whether it's because they've already tried to do that thing that you want to do for someone else and it didn't work. Whether it's because they know that this manufacturer is not going to allow that thing that you really want. It's not going to work. Or if it just doesn't make sense because they know the manufacturing home uh, business. So just have fun. Don't cause undue stress on yourself. Don't make it a horrible experience for other people. Just have fun with it. If you just have fun with it, you allow yourself to enjoy the experience. The second thing that I would tell you is that when you walk into that home and you feel like it's home, when you can see your furniture in it, when you can see what decor you would put in it, when it feels like home, don't second guess yourself. That is your home. I looked at all of these. I can't even tell you the names of the homes that I had picked out online. When, I, when we went to the Clayton Homes that we purchased this home from, the salesperson said, I hear all of your must-haves, and I, I have a home that I think you'll like. When we walked into the home, my husband and I both knew that this was all that we needed. We both knew that this was it. We had seen so many homes online. We had seen so many homes at the first Clayton Homes. We looked at every home they had, okay? When we came to this lot and the salesperson who had spent some time with me on the phone and knew my must-haves, knew that we needed two sinks in the bathroom, an island, knew that we needed three bedroom, two bath, Listen to what I was looking for in a home through our conversations. She said, hey, before you start looking on the lot, I got a house that I think you guys would enjoy and I'm gonna show it to you. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is show you the video of that moment when we walked into the home and we knew it was the one. Got your living room right here. You're gonna block me off. You're gonna put me back in this man. This my man cave right here. Yeah, the big one. Dining room. Kitchen. This ain't the big one. Whichever one the big one. This is the big one right here. That's the man cave. Got a laundry room and a back door. Shut my door. Got your back door right there. Wash and dry. Welcome home, Brother Barn. Brother Barn. Welcome home, Brother Barn. <laughs> Master bedroom. You better make sure you get a picture of all these amenities. Walk in closet. I am. <clears throat> Double sinks in the bathroom. Got your separate tub. Toilet. And shower. Double shower. Don't think this thing can hold you, Chris. This thing can't hold you. Get in there, let me see. 
No, I ain't gonna get it. We ain't gonna make no dumb out <laughs> <clears throat> Get out the way, brother boy. This ain't big enough for you. I don't know what it is. Everything over. Got you another bathroom. My office. Whoa. Walter's man cave. So, as you can see, it wasn't the one with all the bells and the whistles. It wasn't the one that had all of the upgrades. We don't even have finished drywall in this home, right? But this home was enough for us. We just wanted a simple life. We wanted something that we could make into our own and some a place that we could be happy and be at peace. And when we walked into the home, we both knew that this home was enough. That's my challenge to you. Don't make it a stressful time. When you feel yourself in that home, when you can see your furniture, when you can see how you would decorate it, when you can imagine family gatherings as you walk through that home, it's probably the one for you. Does it have to have all the bells and whistles? Absolutely not. Those are things that you can have fun with and upgrade on your own. As long as the home has the bones, this is my motto, as long as the home has the bones, as long as it has the things that you're looking for, it may not have the color walls you like, it may not have the color appliances you want, those things don't have to happen in the purchase. It is so much fun to decorate, it is so much fun to change things, it is so much fun to add things that you can do that on your own once the home is in place. So that's just my, t my advice to you guys. Just have fun with it. And the reason that I wanted to share that piece of advice is because I get so many comments on the videos and I see so many people that pick these homes apart. Oh, I don't like that home because I don't like the color of the wallpaper in the kitchen. Or I don't like that home because um, I don't like black appliances. If you like the layout of the home, if you like the way the home uh, is designed, if you could see your, imagine yourself making that home into what you want, you can always buy stainless steel at a much cheaper rate than if you would purchase it in the deal. You can always, it's so much fun to put new wallpaper up, to paint, to change things around, to pull down the wire shelving and add cabinets and just see how you've made that home into your own. So I challenge you to uh, just have fun with it, guys. Have fun with picking out a home. Start seeing what you could turn it into instead of what it isn't already. I get a lot of comments of subscribers saying, that they don't like a particular home because of one or two things that could absolutely be changed either before you purchase or after you purchase. One, another example of that is a home that you really like but you don't like the farmhouse features. It's so much fun to pick out new pendant lighting, to change the door, to redo the color of the walls, to add wallpaper. All that stuff is fun stuff that you can do after you purchase the home. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a new home, okay? And have fun with it. If you have fun with it, you'll have a much more enjoyable experience and you'll create better memories. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Talk to you soon.